Hello everyone, I'm Melinda Nail Fanatic with Love, Peace and Happiness Tarot as well as Nail Fanatics Artistry Design Studio here in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is your June 2017 Capricorn Monthly Tarot. It will apply for your Sun, Moon, Rising and Northern Node as well as any other planetary aspects that you understand as far as astrology goes. You can apply them to this reading. So, we're going to get right into it with a word of clarity from my own custom words of clarity deck. Love Source God, what are the messages for Capricorn for June 2017? What is the word that most importantly needs to be heard for a positive effect, for their lightest, brightest, and highest good? For their overall love, peace, happiness, health, wealth, and joy, Love Source God, what is the message for Capricorn? We have waiting, waiting. We're waiting on something. We're waiting on someone. We're waiting on a situation. <clears throat> the bottom of the deck says focus. Mm, I feel like you're waiting on some clarity. I feel like you've been holding your vibrational focus for something and you're waiting on it to manifest. There's those two stories that I'm getting right now. And they may be one story, and I just don't understand how. But that's what needed to be said. The source God was a message for Capricorn for June 2017. What's the heart of the matter for June 2017? There it is. The Ten of Cups. That happy family situation. The fullness of love energy. The Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This is someone who's doing a tedious job and they're kind of sweating over the work and their heart's been hurt so many times, yet they're still trying to focus on building something and creating something. What I'm hearing is you're waiting on a situation to come into this uh, fullness of love, this fullness of joy. You're waiting on the situation to develop more. And also, I feel like for somebody out there, I'm hearing a story where an emotional situation is reaching a finalization, a culmination, a end point. For some of you, you're going to be coming to an emotional end. Lester Scott, give us some more clarity on the, the message for Capricorn, June 2017. Clarity in regards to the message for Capricorn June 2017. Love Source God, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This card right here. Brothers and sisters. Mm. The bottom of the deck is talk about your feelings. So those two messages are saying to me that with this emotional end you have a support system around you they might not be your blood brothers and sisters but they are your brothers and sisters and they're willing to go through this with you uh, in the sense that they're willing there to be there to help you work through your emotions let's get some more clarity on this situation for june 2017 for capricorn I see somebody spending time. I see what you're waiting on is a time to reunite with your siblings and your family. I uh, seeing somebody has a family reunion or something of that nature coming up, a family get together that you're really, really excited about. You've been waiting for for a long time. The Eight of Pentacles is called dedicated effort in this deck, and the bottom of the deck is the death card named Release, Major Arcana 13 saying that you're going through a transformation right now because you've been painting a picture and it's becoming more and more complete so that's why you're going through this transformation right now that anything that you are moving away from any people that you're moving away from anything that's being released from your life is to get you in position because your paintings about to be finished that means it's going to be time for you to start painting a new painting Hmm, that's a really interesting thought because you can take that a few different ways according to your own personal situation.
Okay. I see some of you are going to go through some heartbreak here, a situation that's um, painful emotionally, and you're going to be able to get through this again with the aid of your brothers and sisters, your your family that you created for yourself. We have the damsel card, and the bottom of the deck is a teacher card. So any challenges, any um, frustrations or changes in your life that you're going through is because there's something for you to learn and to teach in this situation. And the damsel says, understanding the nature of healthy romance inspires you to rely on yourself. So if you're the one who's going through the end of an emotional situation, a romantic situation, a love type situation, then the message for you is that you're going through an ending here because it doesn't match the picture that you're painting for your life, what's on the table here, and also because you know that you deserve healthy romance and you want to be relying on yourself. You don't want to be in a codependent relationship. And so you are going to allow this situation to come to an end. And again, I see you spending a lot of time with your close friends and family to help you get through this situation. I see you increasing your family time, increasing your, your friend time, your girls night outs, whatever it is that you do to help you move through the energies that are present in your life. Okay. Journey is the card that comes out for you. And the bottom of the deck is the widower. Okay, so the widower again is the end of a situation that's really confirming this card here. And so we have you going on a journey. You are still in a journey. You are still in look. You are on your path, on your journey towards understanding the nature of healthy romance and relying on yourself. Instead of waiting for a night to provide for you or being seduced by romantic illusions. Mm -hmm. Now let's see what other messages we have to receive today. For Capricorn, June 2017, Love Source God. What are the messages for Capricorn? June 2017. Okay, we're going to take it. We have the Three of Cups. We have the Fool and the Queen of Swords. So I feel that you're going to be celebrating a new beginning and um, sticking to your truth, holding to your truth, having cut out all the BS. You're going to celebrate that you cut out all the BS of your life. You cut out some illusions, some lies, and somebody that's perpetuating those situations. You are going to embrace your magi power. You will be the magician. You will own your power, and you will move forward in your life in a way that you want it to go. You will move forward in a way that is satisfying to you and works out for your highest, lightest, and brightest good. Let's see what your loved ones on the other side have to say. Your loved ones with love source God. And if you don't have anyone, just imagine that the reality is, it's not even a need to imagine that. Just understand that love source God is the one communicating to you if you don't necessarily have a loved one. But I think most of us do. I send you the loving signs through nature. If only I had known then what I know now, I would have lived differently. So some of your loved ones would have embraced more uh, the opportunity to stick to their truth. They would have embraced more as far as how your journey is taking you through changes. They would have learned the self-sufficiency. They would have learned healthy romance in a different way. They would have learned to rely on their circle of family that they had built. But they are saying, I'm passing you signs and I feel like somebody's seeing butterflies. And maybe you've seen butterflies twice. It was very significant. When you see a creature, it is speaking a message to you, and it behooves you to investigate what are some of the other uh, spirit messages that have been channeled and received by others. You can Google spirit messages. For example, if you see butterfly, you can Google butterfly spirit messages, butterfly uh, symbol symbolism, symbolism, symbolism. 
butterfly symbolism, butterfly meanings, butterfly spiritual meanings. Those are some ideas. Some of you are seeing butterflies. Some of you are, are getting the messages through nature because Love Source God uses all of creation to communicate with you and for those of you who do have that loved one on the spirit realm they also are in a pure sense that what love source god is therefore they also are communicating to you through nature okay and and so ah when you feel the wind blowing do you know that the winds of change are blowing in your life when the rain rains do you know that it's raining down your blessings on you when the sun shines, do you know that you're being empowered by the universe? Things of that nature. Give heed, give attention to that. I'm also seeing the sun energy come out strong for me here, saying, uh, and also the root chakra energy, saying do some work on your root chakra, do some work on your solar plexus. Empower yourself with the belief that you are what you need. That's gonna help you to embrace the energy of relying on yourself rather than others to come and rescue you. So, personal consultations are always by donation and my website has details on that as well as how you can have your own custom words of clarity deck commissioned for your own use at home. And anybody who does receive their personal consultation by donation through me will also receive the opportunity to have a free consultation as I pull at random winners for uh, drawings from a pool of those who have purchased readings through me. Okay, so for more information, lphtarot.com. That's lphtarot.com, as in love, peace, and happiness to you and yours. And of course, me and mine. Until next time.